Hey everybody, welcome back, and to any of you who are new here, we are Nicole and Lyndon and Arlo is down there. We are going to be showing you the top five restaurants in Kuala Lumpur. We're going to be diving into so many flavors, seeing some of the best places here, and we are so excited to take you along yes. for the ride. Let's get to it. Our first stop is Baba Can Cook, and we are so excited. We've heard so much about this place. What we have heard is that this is a favorite here in Kuala Lumpur, serving local dishes that are just so amazing. So we had to make this our first stop, hands down, and we're so excited to show you what we got. For a drink, we decided this with the iced barley. It looks so good. It's really interesting. The bottom is warm because they boil it to get the flavor out, and then they pour it over ice. So we just stir it up a bit here, and let's try it. This is the longest sip I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just so good, I cannot help myself. I am so bummed to have to share us with Linden because it is such a sweet drink and it's so good. I love it when you get the pieces of barley from the bottom, and you can just like, chew on it. It's really good. First on the menu is the chicken saute with a nice homemade peanut sauce. It looks so good. There's also some cucumber, onion, and some little things of rice to go with it. Dip it right in. So this is very, very delicious, you guys. And the peanut sauce helps it come together. It has a nice kick to it, and the flavors just pop in your mouth. Like, this is this is so great. So for our main entree, we got the pong tei, which is a chicken cooked in this delicious brown sauce over some rice. Super excited to try this. It's gonna be so good. I can already tell just by the spices. It is so good. The chicken is so tender, so the second you put your fork into it, it just pulls apart. The flavors are amazing, but the spices, once they hit your mouth, it's just like brings your taste buds to life. So Baba Can Cook, which literally means Grandpa Can Cook, was started by a grandfather and his godson. The grandfather, we don't believe, is here anymore, and the godson has taken over the business, and now he is running it. And it seems to be a very successful place, as there are plenty of people here, and it's just an awesome vibe. We are all finished up, we are full, and the cost of this was only 52 ringgit. So extremely affordable for what you get. And this place is just so awesome. The staff is super friendly and it's local cuisine. So it's definitely something that you need to check out when you're in Kuala Lumpur. So with all that being said, we will see you at our next place. All right, guys, we are here at our next restaurant. And this one is called Yaro. It is also pretty close to where Baba Can Cook is on the same exact street. The type of cuisine that they serve here is Sri Lankan. So we're really excited to try some of that. I don't know if we've had any Sri Lankan food yet. So the setting of this place is pretty casual. So it's really easy to go in. It's not busy right now, which is perfect, especially when we have Arlo. It does get a baby seat. So that always makes this a much better experience. They also have a great selection of mock cocktails you can choose from and they all look so good. We're staying away from them. They're a little bit more pricey, but if that's something you want, this is the place to be. For drinks, we ordered really simple. We just got a Coke water, but I got a hot brew coffee. Definitely gonna need it because I'm watching this one today. I ordered the black pepper chicken. Ooh, Ooh hold on. The flavor is really good. Spices really add on to the flavor. The chicken's like a little drier. It's not like a moist chicken, but it's super spicy. So I think Lyndon might be eating the majority <laughs> of this. To start, I got the Yarl Thosai. Thosai is basically just this like thin pancake right here, made from like rice and flour. You're gonna dip it in all three of these little sauces here. But they're not all sauces, you got this as well. Um, but we'll see which one tastes the best. All right, here's the first one. This one reminds me of like a lentil soup almost. It's really good. It's the middle one. Not sure how to describe that. Oh wow. It is spicy though, so Nicole stay away from that one. <laughs> then we got this, we have this third one, which is not a sauce. So put it on here. Yeah, I can't tell you exactly what this is, but it does have a really amazing flavor. It's got a little crunch to it as well, so that 
It's a little different than the sauces. The next thing we got is a chicken roti kofu. What roti is, it's a flatbread from Sri Lanka, Southern India. That's diced up in here along with a bunch of veggies, obviously chicken. And we have this little sauce right here. I'm not sure what it is. I think this is the exact same sauce as what we had back for the... That's really good. That's really, really good. I got a nice piece of chicken. There actually is a little kick within this as well. And you can taste the scrambled egg too, so... Very well seasoned, very well flavored, so definitely recommend this. <laughs> that is a little spicy. Even for me, I can handle spice pretty well. Yeah, I keep biting into these peppers, but they're just so spicy right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Arlo's getting in on the action here, just shoving it straight into his mouth. Doesn't enjoy it, just wants to eat it. Nothing more. So we also ordered a plain palm, which is fermented rice batter and coconut made into like a little pancake. It's pretty like soft here, but the top it's crispy. It comes with a little bit of this. Pretty good. This gives us like a meaty chicken -y flavor. I think it's like some shredded chicken. I am gonna say just very plain. We also just ordered the dessert version of this to try it out and see the difference. We're about to dive into the dessert one. I am super excited. If you've been with us long enough, you know that I love dessert. What's inside of it? It's burnt sugar, a creamy sauce that's been like cooked into it, like a coconut milk burnt sugar and a little bit of chocolate, I think. So the total price was really good. It was only 64 regular for everything we just got, and it fed all three of us, even Arlo. So we're really happy with that price. So that's gonna wrap up our time at Yarrow, and let me tell you, it was so good. So spicy. Yes. If you like spicy food, you have to check this place out yeah. because you will not be disappointed. For Nicole, a little different story. We'll see you guys at the next restaurant. All right, you guys, we are at our third and final restaurant, and this one is called Chamber 3. It is part of the area called The Row, as the other two restaurants are as well. Yeah. This is such a big place to come for people in Kuala Lumpur. We're excited to end it here, and it looks really good. The environment's a bit more relaxed. It's more of like a bar style. They do have baby chairs, though, so that's always helpful. But yeah, just a little more relaxed environment, some music, so sounds like a good time. One thing to note when you do come here is that they don't start serving food until 6.30, so if you come any time before that, you can only order drink. We made that mistake. We came here around 5 or like 4.30 and we couldn't order food, so we'd go back to our Airbnb and wait. So I ordered the buttered chicken. It comes with this battered chicken, some rice, and an egg on top. It smells so good, so I'm excited to see how it tastes. The chicken is really good. The battered part of it adds this nice little crunch, but the chicken is still really tender inside. And then the buttered sauce that's on it has a little kick. It tastes, has a little flavor of lemon, but it's still really, really good. There you go. Yum. So I got a stir fry chicken. It looks really nice and juicy in there, so let's get a bite. Of it. That's pretty good. A little bit of kick in the sauce in here, and the chicken is cooked perfectly. It's really well made. So you guys, we just finished up. Honestly, tonight, the menu wasn't full. They didn't have any of their Thai food, which is what we were kind of wanting to come here and get. Just know that they might be out. There have been great reviews on this place, which is why we wanted to come here and show you guys. But like I said, out of the Thai food, so we can't really give it a fair chance. What we did get was still pretty good and I think they also have live music in there. I don't know when that starts. So it's just a nice casual place, bar type restaurant that you can come and enjoy. And that is going to wrap up our video of our three places that you got to try here in Kuala Lumpur. We hope you liked it and if you come here we hope you try them out. As always, thank you for watching. It means the world to us and if you could leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe so you don't miss next video. Yeah. Say bye Arlo. We will see you guys in the next video.